Good afternoon. Clan, it's Ross Stisse, a.k.a. The Bearded Broker, with episode five of The Bearded Broker Live with your questions. And this week we have questions from Edinburgh, Glasgow. We've got one from Inverness and one from Newcastle. My aim every week is to jargon bust and have anyone ask any mortgage-related questions at all, and I'll do my best to answer them. So as a mortgage broker of more than 12 years, I've come across pretty much every question and answer you can think of. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to come to you with a, a reasonable response. Uh, so question number one is uh, from Erin and she is from Edinburgh. So my mortgage deal is coming to an end. What should I do? The mortgage payment is coming to an end, so there's three possible options. You can either leave the mortgage payment on the standard variable rate. Typically, your mortgage payments will, will go up because the rates are a little bit higher. Now, the only reason you would leave that as it is, is if you weren't intending, if, if you were intending on maybe selling the property in the next few months or you know six months or up, up to a year because what you don't want to do is put yourself into another mortgage product where you're, you're sort of locked or tied into it. So Erin, so option number one is you can leave it depending on the circumstances. Uh, option number two, you can go back to your existing lender and see what products that they are offering. So if you're looking for another fixed rate for two years or three years, then see what they're offering. And you can also speak to a mortgage broker or mortgage advisor because it's not, always the best option to stick with your existing lender, there's a possibility you can get a much better deal somewhere else. So three options, you, you stick where you are on the standard variable rate, you stick where you are and get a, another deal from your existing lender, or you shop around uh, using either a mortgage broker or a mortgage advisor, and they will be able to help you find the best deal on the market that you know that's, that's suitable for your circumstances. So hopefully that answers your question. Uh, Erin, uh, thanks very much for your question. So next we've got George. George is from Glasgow and his question is, what is remortgaging? So I suppose that question really links into the first question and remortgaging is a term that is used in our industry for basically taking your current mortgage and switching it over to another, another product. So if your deal is coming to an end, so if you had a, a two-year fixed rate, for example, that's come to an end, remortgaging is going to another lender and asking them for a, a better deal. So again, a mortgage advisor or broker can help you do that. So in our, our job every day, we do a lot of remortgaging where we're looking for a better deal for someone else. We will search the market for them, we'll find a better deal and we'll get them switched over uh, through that process. So that's remortgaging. Remortgaging and borrowing extra money is possible as well. So let's say you've got some, some, some work needing done to the house or you want to build on an extension and you want to borrow money against the house. Remortgaging and borrowing extra money is possible as well, as long as there's enough uh, value in the property to do so. So George from Glasgow, thank you for your question. Hopefully that helps. Uh, next, we've got Lily and Lily is from Inverness. Uh, how soon can I remortgage? So, Lily, really you can remortgage kind of at any time, you know, after after taking out your mortgage, but it normally doesn't make sense because typically you've put yourself into a mortgage deal. And what, what, when, I, when I'm talking about a deal, I mean, it's a, a beneficial interest rate. So the, the lender will give you a, a, a lower interest rate up front as long as you tie in for a certain period of time. So if you're tied in for two years or three years, and when I say tie in, it means it would cost you money, could be two, three, four, five thousand to come out of that existing deal. So it normally doesn't make sense. What, what we would typically do is anywhere up to six months before that deal is ending, we would get in touch with a client and say, hi, Lily, in this instance, we are looking 
at your deal that's coming to an end in six months' time. Let's start looking at the, re the, the remortgage market now and see what is going to be possible. So anywhere up to six months in advance, I would say. Next question and final question from Graham from Newcastle. Is it worth shopping around or should I stick with my current lender? It's, I suppose it links into the first question. It's worth doing both. Have a look and see what your current lender is offering and also you know, speak to an advisor and see what is available out in the open market. Don't always stick with your current lender. Always shop around and get yourself a much better deal. If you can save £50 a month by going through that remortgage process over two years, three years, five years, it's definitely going to be worthwhile. So hopefully that helps, Graham. All those questions this week are really around we sort of try to bundle them up around the sort of remortgage. We're, we tend to find what we're finding now is we're getting a whole bunch of questions and we're trying to lump them all together. So last week it was on credit history. Uh, so we're trying to lump them together as, as so they're all related, if, if you like. Uh, that's what we're going to try and do going forward. So hopefully that helps. So it's Ross Stacey from the Stacey Group. Uh, I'm also known as a bearded broker and we're trusted mortgage experts. If you've got any questions, please pop them in the comments and we'll hopefully see you next week. Thanks very much. Cheers. <laughs>